What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, I'm in 66, full layer, and I am doing a new thing on my channel, and it's called Storytime Sundays. Now, for this story, if you haven't read the title already, it's about the girl that did me so, so dirty. It began when this transfer student, her name was, we'll call her Raina for security purposes. Yeah, so Raina walks into the class, well, my home room. She walks into my home room, and I'm sitting there like, whoa. She was, mm, uh, she, she was, uh, she was all right. And I'm not saying that because, you know, whatever. I'm just saying that because she's just, uh, so, day one, I wanted to see if she was in any of my classes, and it turns out that she was in my G period class, religion. It was the only class we had together, we weren't in the same lunch wave, day one, passed right by. Day two, I did what any normal human being would do, and do absolutely nothing. Day three, we were watching a movie. Now, I don't know which movie, because th this was junior year, okay, I don't really, I'm a senior now, I don't really remember what movie we were watching, or the exact date, I'll do my best. So. I went to the comfortable area, the front of the class. Her seat's here, my seat's here, the comfortable area's right here. So I have like a perfect angle at her. So I was like, bro, I gotta say something. The first thing to come out of my mouth. Yo, Reyna, can I bring you here? No. <laughs> and now my friend Mike, I can say his name because, you know, I'm cool, Mike. He, he goes smooth, I say, you know, smooth. And I'm just sitting like, I had to say something, bro. She's over there laughing. Okay, first time I said something to her, kind of a success. Not that big of a success, kind of a success. The, it was kind of clutch. Next time in religion class, okay, I'm not gonna say religion class anymore because you guys know that's the only class I have with her. So in class, teacher wasn't here. Free time. Yo, free time in religion, one of the best things ever because you don't even want to know how that teacher was. I move up a seat closer to Raina. And I go, so you're not gonna, you're really not gonna let me break you here, Raina? And she goes, no. I'm just like, all right, fine. I don't need to break you here anyway. So we're talking and the subject of marijuana comes up. You really want to know why that subject came up? Because of Miles. I could say his name because I'm cool with him too. Miles is a hardcore stoner. Miles says stuff about weed and she goes, I, I used to do weed, but um, not anymore. I was just sitting there like, she used to do weed? Then I just thought about it. I was like, ah, she said she doesn't do it anymore. I'm gonna let it slide, okay? I'm gonna let it slide. So obviously, I had to get her Snapchat. You feel me? <laughs> I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but uh, your boy had game. So I got her Snapchat. And then I see a story by Raina. So I click on it, and a blue bomb. In my head, I'm like, whoa. I thought she said she doesn't do weed anymore. <laughs> it could be her friends. Next snap, I see her. Into the camera, and I'm sitting there like, oh, does not matter. I learned this the hard way. When you lie, someone always finds out. Doesn't matter if it's five years, ten years, twenty years from when you lie, someone finds out. Take that as a lesson. I'm sitting there like, all right, all right, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't care if she smokes weed. I don't really care if a girl does weed. But there's a certain a limit to how far I'll go. I was like, all right, if she thinks she just it's, it's it. Next day, find out that she has a boyfriend. Shoot, she has a boyfriend. Um, they were co-workers. Now if you ask me, I think that's a bad idea. Because when you break up, unless it's like you guys are still friends after you break up, it's whatever. But if it's a bad breakup, then it'll be really awkward working with your ex. Unfortunately enough, it's more likely to be a bad breakup than a mutual breakup. So, why'd I just bite my- So, fast forward a month. So we're streaking. I think we were in the teens around this point. I was like, all right, I can't go any longer without confessing that I like. So, well, now, there's a difference. If a girl just comes out of the blue and tells you she broke up with her boyfriend, she wants you to make a move. Now, if you ask her, you get uh, I give you a 50% chance. But there's two things, depending on how she says it. If she says it like, yeah, um, we broke up, then I'd say your chances are 
25%. Now, if you ask her, she goes, eh, we broke up. I don't care. Nope. Or something, something, but I don't know about the I don't care part. We broke up. That, you probably, you would have a 75% chance or more. At, at least 75. I'm in the library, my study hall. Now, I'm never gonna do this again. I don't usually plan on it unless I really have to, but I'm never gonna confess my feelings to a girl over text. Take my advice, don't ever do that. Unless you're not gonna see her for a week or something, you can tell her, but then when you see her, you gotta tell her again. Cause like, I text her, I go, Raina, to be honest, I'm really feeling you. When I was texting that message, I was like, I was sitting in the library just scared the whole time like oh no oh no oh no sweating my armpits dripping what I go wait for a long time and she texts me now I have the thing that it just says I message and doesn't show the message because you know people be uh, lurking on your phones you're feeling me I'm feeling you when I saw this message I was like <laughs> Oh my god! After the period ended, I went to her locker. I go to her locker every single day. Every period. No, not every period. I don't know. I go, hey. And she goes, hey. And I was like, so. What to do, homegirl? Bruh. And she was like, what to do, home? What am I doing right now? Fast forward uh, a couple weeks. Still streaking. Teacher wasn't here again. Go upstairs to do a current event. We always do current events on Fridays. Um, Raina gave me her phone to look at. So I curiously pressed messages. Trying to see if I was her first text message. You know, when you click on your messages and there's that list. I wasn't even in the list before you start scrolling. I looked at the bottom first. I started scrolling. I see my name. It was, it was probably 10. Probably more than 10. Oh. So I was like, eh, whatever, whatever. Scroll back up. I see this man. We're gonna call him Bill. So I see this man's name. Bill. 15. I don't even know how many hearts after it. I was mildly mad while I was clicking on the message. Then I started scrolling up. Oh, I got livid. I'm sorry for what I did. It's okay, babe. I forgive you. Hold. You're getting it tonight. I'm so horny for you right now. Kissy face, kissy face, kissy face. When I saw that message, I dropped, I didn't, I didn't drop her phone, but I just placed it and went to work. She goes, after she's done talking while she turns, she goes, hey. Hey. Isaiah. Look, I, I'm, I'm sorry for what I did, okay? I was f***ed up. I was, I was drinking. I was smoking. So, drink too. Oh, duly noted. And I turned to her, not joking with you, this is what I did, I go. In my mind, I was like, so you already knew why I was gonna get mad today. Bell comes in clutch. Our school is a square, like that, okay? So my locker is over here. Her locker is over here. She skips her locker and comes straight to me. Isaiah, I'm, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I was f***ed up. Grabbed my math notebook, closed my locker, looked at her and I said, I went to class, bro. Fast forward, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes into class. H period is our last period. That was my math class. I usually keep my phone on do not disturb because I don't want my battery to die. You know how iPhone batteries are. He gives us four or five minute break. Take out my phone. 20 messages from Raina. Hey, 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 Isaiah, I'm sorry. I was f***ed up. All right, it wasn't it was 20. It was... That was an exaggeration. It was probably like 10. Ignored. She dry. Got on the bus. Five Snapchats from Raina. Hey, hey. I'm sorry, Isaiah. I was f***ed up. That's three. Oh my gosh, please forgive me. I was f***ed up. Sorry. And you know what I did? I Snapchatted her back. I can't believe you. I'm so sorry. Please, please forgive me. I forgave her. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. One month. Our streak was at like 40 now. All oh, things were going well. And then here we go again. Mm, I said her name. But you guys didn't hear me say her name. Raina posted a Snapchat of her with her ex boyfriend. At first, I was like, I don't care. They work together. Obviously, she's gonna be with him a lot. And then there was the next snap. 
She uh grabbed his butt. What the fuck? Mm, I don't know if I should let that one slide. It's totally fine. Whatever. Don't stress. She posts posts. I can't even freaking speak right now. What the fluff? She posts him kissing her on the cheek. This time I was like, I, I can't let this one slide. I swipe up to chat. I'm like, are you, are you kidding me, man? What is? Oh, it's nothing. We're just we're just friends. You know, I, I'll just be friends with someone else. This, that's not actually what. <sighs> I wish I had realized this sooner. She does it again. Just friends? But, you know, your boy didn't realize that because she was feeling me too. Really, nigga? Little did I know, feeling you wasn't the right choice of words. Fast forward a couple weeks. Raina, what's, go what's going on, man? She's like, what? I was like, I told you I was feeling you. She cuts me off, sitting in her seat. I don't even know what feeling you means. Like, what the fluff does that even mean? You're telling me you didn't know what that meant? You you didn't know what feeling you meant? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never want Can I ask you the question? What, what did you think it meant? Did you think I meant physically feeling you? Because I'm pretty sure that I sent it over text message. Let me, let me, let me not get mad because I really, because people in my school, especially Soph, because I know you're watching this, you know that when I get angry, I talk about her bad things. So I was sitting there like, wow. I made a big mistake pouring out my heart to her that day. She kind of ripped. It wasn't a fun day. I think we should just be friends. <laughs> time purposes i'm gonna fast forward um, another month okay oh before i fast forward that month that same day she was like i just don't know what i want i, I don't know if i actually like you or not her saying that kept me around i'm an idiot i know back to fast forward a month i found out that every single day during closing time she has sex with her ex in the bathroom of subway one that's not that's not sanitary at all two every day isn't that a little isn't that a bit excessive. I, I didn't really let that one phase me until Josh started talking to her. Josh, I can also say his name because he's a cool dude. He's my boy. He's really good with people. Josh is just like amazing with people and he found out that she still had that boyfriend. I didn't tell you that she told me that she broke up with him again. 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 So basically it was a lie. I just stood there and did my work trying not to eavesdrop, but it just happened. After Josh stopped talking to her, she turned around and tapped my desk with her long fingernails. Hey, and I was just like, nope, not going through this again. I left after the class was over. <laughs> wow, I just spit a lot. Believe it or not, that's how our bell sounds. Again, with the multiple texting. Again, with the multiple Snapchatting. And you know what? I forgave her again. Bruh. Bitch, you got me fucked up. What is wrong with my brain? I don't know why I forgave her. This is this is two or three. I don't I don't remember. Fast, fast, fast forward. I'm skipping a lot of things, guys. I just want you to get the most important parts out of this. I think our streak was at around 40 this time. I'm gonna fast forward into June-ish. No, July. July 15th day before my birthday, July 16th. So, July 15th, we made a date. She was calling me Bay, all of this other stuff. We made a date for July 15th to walk in the park that's near my house. I thought it was romantic. People think that's romantic, right? She was like, yeah, sure, I'll be there. She said four, she said four o'clock, three o'clock, no message, four o'clock, no message. I walked to the park, 4.30, no message. So I sent her a message. I was like, are you still coming? Open, no reply. I went home. I went back home. No, I'm not I'm not just gonna sit there and let you stand me up after you made the time after you made the time The 16th comes no birthday messages from her. All right, cool. I'm done with her. 11 50. I'm sorry, but happy birth. I'm sorry, but happy birthday What is wrong with you who no one no one does that you even know it's crazy. I forgave her again Why are you always all on my back? Uh why you gotta do me like that? Huh? She goes, I'll be able to do it on Thursday. I 
I, I don't really remember which day it was. She's like, all right, I'm coming at two. Okay. You set the time again. So Thursday comes, text her, what's up? Raina replies, hey, what's going on? Okay, okay, maybe she really is trying to make it up to me today. Boy, was I wrong. 12 o'clock, text, no reply. 12.30, Snapchat, delivered. 1 o'clock, I didn't even, I didn't even go to the, the park this time. I just stayed home and, to see what was gonna happen. 1.30, 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock. I see her, click on the story, she's with her friends. Next snap, could you pop? Possibly guess what they were doing after all the things I was just telling you. Yes, they she bitched me to go smoke weed again So you know what I gave up. I was finally done. I didn't forgive her again guys, but the story doesn't end there I had my snapchat set um set on everyone can view it But I deleted her and she still watches my stories to this day that was probably eating away at her So what happens next? I get a text from Raina a week before school starts Hey, sorry, I just have one question. What's your question? Oh, you answer. Well, I am sorry for what happened. Okay, what's your question? No answer. That kind of made me mad because you hit me up first and then you don't respond. I took it upon myself to text her a second time because I'm not really trying to mess with her anymore. I said, can you ask your question, please, so I can move on with my life? This is what comes out of her text. I kind of just wanted to talk to you, but please move on with your life. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't tell me to move on my life i've already moved on second i said so i can move on my life so i can stop texting you because i don't want to text you is that so hard to understand after she said that i was like thanks and that was the last time that me and reyna ever spoke reyna if you ever come across this video i'm i'm not mad um just done. I'm done with you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my first ever story time. This will be the first of many story- Dude, I have so many stories. Story time Sundays. Like the video if you want to see more story time Sundays. I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. I got the motherfucking voice. My nigga, you ain't got a choice. You ain't got a motherfucking choice. You be the fuck with King Wave, look at George. Don't speak the truth and I don't hear your voice. Please keep talking. I'm the light.